Hey YouTubers, you've reached the Debunkify channel. Uh, in this demonstration, we're going to be uh, stalling the rotor and we're going to see what happens to our uh, input power right here and our output power right here. That is powering our mechanical oscillator or pulse motor. I guess you can call it that. We'll call it a pulse motor for this purpose. Um, okay, so uh, we got this power going in, the power coming out. So this is uh, the setup. Everything's right here. Measuring input current right here uh, on the positive side. This is the negative side. And that's the voltage on the input. This is output uh, current and I got a switch hooked up to that right through here okay um, this is the output voltage and this is the input or output current and I also have a capacitor right here uh, right across the output of our box that is uh, driving our oscillator here um, so this is a uh, I'll refer to this as a two-stage electromechanical uh, oscillator system. Okay, so first I would like to show you something. This is a uh, return going back to the input here of our box. Okay, I want to disconnect that. I want you to now look at the input current. It's going up quite drastically to about 0.236 amps at 12.31 volts and the output has gone up as well to 0.128 amps at 19.30 volts. Now this voltage is sitting across the capacitor. Alright so let's reconnect that back up. So this is under unity right here. All that is under unity but if we connect our return, now it's under unity, about 0.133 amps, 12.32 volts, coming out 0.105 amps, and 19.30 volts. So it goes back to unity. Now, <coughs> Uh, we're going to uh, disconnect the power running from the output of our box. Here's the meter output on the positive. Going into the, uh, the uh, device here. Okay, we're just going to uh, turn that off to show you that this is an actual voltage sitting on the capacitor right here. Okay, so let's turn that off. And see the voltage has gone up and the uh, rotor slowing down you can see the inputs down uh, that's just an idle current there's no current there on the output and you can see that's the voltage the capacitor starts out with and this is slowing down because it's off so let's turn it back on and while we do that, let's look at this voltage across the capacitor. And now you see it's gone down because it's using power now. I've turned it back on. Uh, it's a little higher because it, it has to go get back up the speed. Okay. And now, so this is the actual voltage sitting across the capacitor. So we at least know that's for real, okay? Now next, um, we're gonna slow down the rotor by hand. And then we're gonna watch what happens to our input power, okay? In fact, I'm gonna do this back and forth. I'm slowing it down, and so far, this is what the input current is doing. This is what our output power is doing. 
I'm still slowing it down. Let's slow it down to a complete, almost to a complete stall. And now let's take a look. That's our input current. That's our output voltage. Our output current. Our output voltage sitting across our capacitor and look how slow it's going now let's let's completely stall it okay now what's happening is it's self osculating the rotor is completely stalled we got 0.170 amps going in at 12.32 volts and 0.146 amps coming out in current at 19.32 volts. So, and now let's let's take the return off. And now let's look at it. Now we got 0.395 amps at 12.30 volts going in and 0.218 amps coming out at 19.32 volts. So now it's under unity. That's completely under unity right here. And if we reconnect our positive output, now we're back to over unity. And so uh, it's in a I suppose you could call it a solid state resonance and that's the over unity from that uh, without the rotor okay uh, so let's spin this back up and I'll show one more thing We're going to uh, get this back up to speed and we're going to uh, completely disconnect it right here on the input right here uh, right here connected to the positive through our meter over here this is the positive right here so we're going to uh, get this back up to speed and what we're going to do is completely disconnect it <clears throat> and see that there's no input current or power going in at all while we're still circulating around wattage over here on the output so uh let's wait just a little longer Try to get up the speed a little bit better here. I guess that's good enough. All right, we're going to turn it off. And we're going to look at the input current drop to zero. And we still have current over here and voltage. So we still have an output wattage right here. And there's no current going in voltage is uh, all the way up still got current right here and we still got voltage the rotor slowing down you turn it back on see there's still current still voltage no power going in let's turn it on And you can see it still remains over unity so I suppose you can say that uh, this is self osculating uh, it's basically triggering itself at the same time uh, it's it's rotating the rotor so uh, that's it pretty much for right now.
again there's a input current input voltage output current output voltage some actual voltage sitting across our capacitor feeding our mechanical oscillator and this is the uh, I call this the uh, two-stage electromagnetic oscillator system All right, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, please like this video and please subscribe if you're uh, new. And share if you will. And I'll see you on the next video.